Okay, let's have another example. A jeepney ride costs 8 pesos for the first 4 kilometers. And each additional integer kilometer, let me just underline this one because this is actually important later on. So each additional integer kilometer adds 1.5 pesos to the fare. Use a piecewise function to represent the jeepney fare in terms of the distance d in kilometers. Okay, so again, this, uh, this problem describes a piecewise function, so our job is to find that function. Okay, so just like uh, with the previous example, so we're going to find a function, and we'll call that function, call that function small f. So small f, let me use another color, small f of, hmm, this is a function of a distance. This is a function of distance, so let's call that f of d. So f of d, for the first four kilometers, your fare, your fare is 8 pesos. So that's going to be 8 pesos, 8 pesos, if, if d is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 4. So meaning, if the distance traveled, okay, this d is the distance traveled, so if that value is less than or equal to 4, then the fare, okay, so the fare is 8 pesos, right? So that, that's, uh, that's one of those functions that we're going to include in our final piecewise function. Now, we can also define another function, g, right? Let's use another color for g. So g of d. And g of, of d uh, depends on the additional, additional integer kilometer added. So for every additional integer kilometer, you're going to add 1.5 pesos. So that means that every kilometer, every integer kilometer added, so that would be d, so that would be d, uh, d minus 4, okay? So this d minus 4, this represents the excess um, integer kilometer, right? So this represents uh, the excess distance, right? Because it's only when the distance is less than or equal to 4 that you get 8 pesos for your fare. But once you exceed the first 4 kilometers, you're going to add you're going to add um, a value to your fare, okay? So that would be d minus 4, that's the excess distance. But for every uh, excess kilometer added, you're going to uh, add 1.5 pesos. So that means we're going to multiply this one with, multiply this one with 1.5. So, so for example, if d is, say, d is 5, that means you, the total distance traveled is 5 kilometers. So that would be 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 times 1.5 is 1.5. So 1.5 pesos is going to be the additional charge for your fare. Okay? So this is your excess amount. Okay? But you're going to add the original 8 pesos for that. So that would be true if d is greater than 4. Now, what if, okay, so what if d is, say, d is 4.5? What if d is 4.5? Just, let's write it here. So what if, what if d is 4.5? It says here, additional integer kilometer. Well, this is not an integer, right? So how much are you going to add? Are you going to add 4 kilometers or 5 kilometers, right? Or say what if d is what if d is 1.9 kilometers? How much are you going to add? It says here additional integer kilometer, right? So it turns out that when d when the distance is 1.9 you're only going to add one kilometer. That's, 
that's considered as one kilometer. So in short, you're gonna round down, you're gonna round down that value. And we actually have a special name for that. We call that the floor function. Okay, so we call that the floor function. So the floor function, so the floor function, uh, it's denoted by this symbol, so floor function. So the floor function of D is the greatest integer smaller than D. Right? So it's the greatest integer smaller, smaller than D. So for example, if your D is 1.9, what is the greatest integer smaller than 1.9? So that would be, so that would be, so the floor function, the floor of 1.9 is 1. So in short, you're just going to get rid of that, that uh, 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 numbers uh, on the right side of the decimal point. Okay, you're going to round it down to the nearest, nearest integer. So 1.9 becomes 1, 4.5 becomes 4, uh, 3. 1 becomes a 3 and so on. Right? So you just get rid of, of um, uh, uh, the, the number at the right of the decimal point. All right, so that's floor function. And so therefore, we have to put floor in here. Why? Because if, you have, if your d is not an integer, if your d is not an integer, then, or, or we should put it here, we should put it here. So if, if your d is not an integer, this function, this function, this floor function will make it, will make it an integer. So if it's 3.3, the floor function will make it 3. If that's 10.2, the floor function will make it 10. So that's basically what it does. So that will now be our final form. Okay, but then we, we were, we're going to write that as a single function. And we'll call that function function f. Okay? So the function f of d is so again, I'm gonna put a curly bracket before writing your expressions. So that would be eight. That would be eight. If okay, if this is true, if the distance is less than four, but it is actually eight plus, so I'm just writing 8 first, 8 plus the floor of D minus 4 times 1.5 if D is greater than 4. So what this means is if your D is less than or equal to 4, then you're going to use this one. So the, the fare is equal to 8 pesos. But if the distance exceeds 4, if D is greater than 4, then you're going to use this formula to compute your fare. Okay? So example, let's say if D is, so example, okay, so example, say D is 10.1. Okay, so 10.1, that means the floor function, the floor of 10.1 of is 10, so that would be, so that would be 10, so that would be 8 plus 10 minus 4, times 1.5 that would be 10 minus 4 is 6 6 times 6 times 1.5 is 9 right so that would be 8 plus 9 and that's 17 so you're gonna pay 17 pesos if the distance that you travel is 10.1 uh, kilometers but if the distance traveled is, let's say, 3, so if d is equal to 3, then you're going to use this formula because d is within that interval. So therefore, your fare is equal to 8 pesos.